Hey guys, so this is a comparison between the old faithful Sony A7S III and the brand new Sony A7 IV. It's not a perfect comparison, as you'll soon see, because we're not in a lab and the lenses are different. So on Sony A7S III, we're using the 35mm 1.4G Master lens, and on the A7 IV, we're using 24 to 70 f 2.8 G Master lens. Now I've set both lenses to f 2.8 aperture at a 35mm focal length, but as you know, primes and zooms are not all made equal. So I'm sorry about that. As far as the camera settings go, we're set to ISO 1000 on both. We are set to 4300 Kelvin on both, and we're shooting in S-Log3 S-Cine gamut. That's picture profile eight. Everything you're seeing, right now is a difference between the two cameras and how they process the image. Now it's worth pointing out, the native ISOs on the A7S III and the A7 IV, even when shooting in the same picture profile, are not the same. So there's a little bit of compromise to be made here because they're both shooting at 1000. I think the A7IV's native is either 640 or 800, and the A7S III is whichever one that isn't. Now a couple of things I've noticed just in my initial testing, is that the A7S III seems to have a slightly more natural colour profile. I don't know why that is, and I don't know if it's something that can be easily corrected in post. They're both shooting in 10 bit at the exact same bit rate, but to me, the A7S III just has a slightly more natural skin tone. The A7 IV, on the other hand, seems to be a little bit more yellow, especially in skin tones and highlights. In terms of autofocus, there's another thing worth noting here, which is that the A7S III is currently tracking my eye, and I can see that in the viewfinder. The A7 IV, however, says it's tracking my face, but I can't see that. I don't know, there's no box around me, but I appear to be in focus. Here's hoping. But most of all, the thing I really notice as the differences between these two cameras are the A7S III generally looks a little bit more flattering. I prefer the colour science, although I'm sure someone much smarter than me is going to figure out a way to work around that. And on the A7IV there is definitely more detail. Now obviously we're talking about an 11 or 12 megapixel sensor versus a 32 or 33. So it should be about three times more detail and that can be a good thing or a bad thing depending on what you're trying to use it for. But there's one other major difference. Rolling shutter. Rolling shutter, unfortunately, makes this camera, the a7 IV, almost unusable for me. Now, it's hard for me to show you what that is because I'm trying to film myself. But if I go like this... <laughs> so if you don't know, rolling shutter is what happens when a sensor is read out line by line as opposed to all at once, in the case of a global shutter, like you'd find on the red Komodo. Now the Sony A7S III has a very fast readout speed, which means you don't really notice the fact that it's not got a global shutter. The Sony A7IV on the other hand cannot say the same. The rolling shutter is so severe that in times where I'm filming myself or even just real estate with any kind of horizontal movement, you get this jelly effect that you do not get in the other. Now, is that probably demonstrating it? Probably not. <laughs> Realistically, you need to be panning with some kind of camera movement rather than the subject themselves. And you notice this most of all if you're on a tripod doing a fast pan, if you're shooting out of a car window, or if you're on a gimbal. And this gets worse the higher your shutter speed slash frame rate. So right now I'm filming in 25p, which is my go-to. This problem gets exacerbated the faster you film. Overall, the other reason why I really can't keep this a7 IV is that the main reason I got it, aka high-res still photography, it's just not doing it for me. I have compared shots from the a7 IV with the a7S III using the same lens, and okay, there's clearly more detail, I'm not trying to lie to you about that, but is it three times as good? No, not in my opinion. Unless you really, really need to crop every shot you make, in which case you're probably shooting wrong, sorry, it's not worth it. 
The extra detail brings along with it extra noise because you've got smaller photo sites and less ability to gather light, which is the strong suit of the A7S series. On top of that, the build quality, if I'm being honest, is subpar. The camera costs maybe half what an A7S III does or slightly over, but it feels less than half as good, at least the copy I have. The battery door feels janky at best, and like it wants to pop open all the time and it does not want to stay closed. But the memory card door is actually misaligned, so when you go to open or close it, it's coming in at an angle and it's just bouncing off the body. I don't know if this is just my copy or if it's a universal problem, but it drives me crazy and it makes me worried. I'm more worried I'm going to break the door off than lose my media, but I still don't like it. And on a camera of its price point around £2,000, it's just not good enough. It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. I don't mean... <laughs> Overheating. Yep, I'm sorry, I have to say it. I want to caveat this by saying not everyone will have this issue. I know people firsthand who've shot multiple weddings on their A7 IV with no issues. So let's make that clear, this does not affect every model. However, I've also seen so many people buy an A7 IV or even just rent one and find that after 15 minutes of shooting 4K it overheats. After shooting stills, it overheats, and some people, it overheats even just in the menu. This is a real problem, and it's affecting... <laughs> so, you couldn't really make this up. As I was filming this segment about how the A7 IV is prone to overheating, you guessed it, it overheated. We've been filming for exactly 10 minutes and 20 seconds. That's it. No preamble, no warm up. The cameras have been on for about 11 minutes. And the A7 IV is done. It's off. It's no longer recording. I might have even lost the recording we've done up until now. And fundamentally, that is why I love this camera. And why unfortunately for me, the A7 IV is just not a feasible solution. Thanks for watching. I'ma need a sentimental <laughs> man or woman to pump me up Feeling fussy, walking in my Balenciennes Trying to bring out the fabulous Cause I give a fuck way too much I'ma need like two shots in my cup